Sis, sis, we ain't gonna bite you. We ain't gonna bite you, sis. Hi, hey, look, how you doing today? You doing all right? Look, my name is Yes. What's your name, sis? Tiffany. That's my government. Tiffany, nice to meet you. Nice look, to meet you. we out here just trying to wake our people up to the knowledge of God. Tiff Tiffany, you, you, we out here to wake our people up to the knowledge of God. You ever heard that you were you an Israelite? No. What's, what's the duty of a of an Israelite woman according to God's standard? Do you know? Give me, give me a, hold that, hold that. Give me a Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show you something, sis, because we are here for a reason, right? When you think of your people, right, as a whole, are we in a good place in this society? We're not, right? You're not the only one that think, that knows that, right? We out here, we, we understand that as a whole, but yet we still keep doing the same things, right? These things are happening to us for a reason, right? God is waiting for something to happen. Right? I'm going to read you something. All right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, before I break this down, I want to give you a sense real quick. In this Bible, right, when you read the history, uh, the, the God's chosen people, he created all people, right? God created all people. Out of all that people, he chose one, one nation. We are that chosen race. We don't understand that today, but we are that chosen race. That's right. So, the Israelites, we broke God's commandments. God said, do this, do this, do this. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And if you don't listen to me, y'all gonna be in a bad way, right? So read that scripture one more time. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, so this is a uh, something that we must implement within our communities, right? Specifically dealing with the woman, right? Read it one more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, right? What pertains to a woman as far as apparel? Let me ask you that. What pertains to a woman? What 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 is a woman's garment or clothing? I know it's hard, sis. I know it's hard. It's it's a dress. Yeah. It's a skirt. It's supposed to be like a Muslim. Yeah. Well. Not necessarily Muslim. Right. Muslim. Right. Be not because Muslim. That, that's that's a part of their religion, well, and that religion they really got a lot based off of this Bible. Right. Right. But the 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 original thought of modest apparel comes from these scriptures okay. right but today we don't see that because we're not implementing this bible right now when our sisters they think of modest apparel they think of muslim and you know some of these other uh, you know crazy and and false doctrines because that's all that is we were given our doctrine we were given our heritage right. you as a chosen woman of god right you probably never been told that ever in your life probably never but that's what you are according to God. Bring it out. And he ain't playing with you. He ain't playing with none of us out here. If he said you were chosen royal woman, that's what you must become, sis. That's all I need. You just made my, you just told me something. Uh, all places, but it's more than that. We gotta it start is. to implement these things, sis. You, hey, you got a flyer, sis? You got a flyer? You already got one? Yeah. Sis, check it out, all right? We got to start to heal our communities. And the only way we're going to hear that is by us keeping God's commandments. All right? Uh, where, where we at right now? 22 and 5. All right, real. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So the scriptures say a woman is not supposed to have, uh, excuse me, an Israelite chosen woman is not supposed to have on pants. Right? Our sisters must come back to wearing dresses. Right. Right? I'm, I'm, before you leave off, let me break this, this one part down. I'm going I'm to I'm bring the sense for you. Right? Because when our sisters, they, they put on those pants, it's like you're taking um, some of your, your, your feminine essence away from you. Right? And as, as you do that, you become somebody else. God has a standard for how he wants our women. He wants to he wants you to be exactly like that, right? As he commanded. But as we start to 
do whatever we want to do, one of those things, our sisters wearing pants and things like that, we end up in these situations to where we don't understand that we're the ones that brought it upon ourselves. Right. Right? Our sisters out here, you know, they, they got a certain spirit on them. Right? You ask a lot of men, a lot of black men, out of all the, the sisters um, uh, of, of, the, of the nations, who is the, who's, who's the most masculine? Right? Who's the most masculine? What does a man like? He likes a feminine woman, right? Right? But who, who as a whole, is the most masculine out of, out of all of them? Today, today, the black woman. Our sisters wearing pants is a part of that. It's a part of that, that, that problem, right? right? We're not the same. We're not the same. So when you wear those pants, it changes your spirit. I can't hear you, sis. Come out here. Nah, we, look, look, we got you, sis, we got you. I can't hear you. Uh, according to what, though? Is that, cause, cause look, I can come out here and tell you, hey, sis, you, you, you cool, man, you good in those, those pants. Right, and, and most of, most of the black men that's cool with that, you know, it's, it's something else behind it. Because let's be real, when I, when, look, when our sisters put on pants and like, stuff like that, and our men agree with that, it's for another reason, right? It's for another reason because when our sisters, they, they put on the pants, it's not, you know, regular, like men plant, it's, it's real tight. It's real tight to where we can see your figure. So sis, I can come to you and say, hey sis, hey, stay in them pants, girl. You see, don't listen to that Bible, man. That, all that stuff is fake. All that say, don't listen to them. I can say that all day. But this ain't about my opinion. This is about what God says because you heard the term, we're, we're living in the last days, right? You heard that before, it's facts. That's facts, Christ is coming back. And, and sis, if you come back and you wearing those pants, you're gonna be in the same position as, uh, give me Matthew 24, real quick, we're talking about uh, weeping and national team. The day of the Lord talks about uh, a day of uh, extreme suffering. People gonna feel that flame, sis. This ain't no game, God ain't playing with us. He's a to hell, yes sir. Matter of fact, get that next. Get that right now. Yeah, you can, look, we, we just trying to build with you, sis. That we ain't out here to, we out here to build with you. It's making me, it's bringing back something that I need to understand. You just gave me something. All praise to the most high. So just understand, that's what we out here for, right? Because I don't want to see none of my people burn when Christ come back, right? When I see, when I see you, when I see my brother, when I see my, I see myself. I see my little sisters, I see my mother, right? I'm supposed to want the best for my people. So the best you can have is the kingdom of God. But you're not gonna get it if, if Christ come back and you're still sinning. Come back, sis, just come back, all right? Give me Zephaniah, we going on. We good, we going on time, I'm... give me Zephaniah. Read, go ahead, read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8 and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princess and the king's children and all such that are clothed with strange apparel so that that, that day of sacrifice that the scriptures just uh is talking about right here that's talking about the day of the Lord when Christ comes back right he's going to slaughter a whole lot of people that are in strange apparel what strange apparel, right? Because God has his standard already. That's, that's the standard that we should all have. So anything outside of that is strange. That's right, that's right. Anything outside of God's standard is strange. So when Christ comes back and he sees that strange apparel, what is that a strange apparel according to Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse five, right? Is that cross dressing. Right. It's women and parents. It's men in dresses, men in skirts, right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.